hi everyone happy weekend uh, I hope you're enjoying your weekend ours is a very wet one um, anyway I'd like to share with you my very first design team project for Renee bouquets this is the second time I'm doing this video for um, this design team project for whatever reason the other one got messed up so um, let me share with you some of the items, or actually the items that um, she gave to me to work with. And she hand makes these beautiful butterflies. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at the, um, the crystal stuff on there. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at the pretty flowers. So detailed. And then there's um, this one, there's like a, a little um, bling in the center there. Isn't that gorgeous? So I have that one, and I have this one, and this is probably going to be um, the next set that I work with. It's these adorable little cherubs. And um, I just think this is going to be perfect for a Valentine project or card or whatever. So, isn't that darling? I love cherub. So, he that's going to be so cute. And here is another favorite of mine. And this, this one here is a little bit different because there's, they're, um, they're doubles. So, they're three-dimensional and she has them. You see it? They're on pop dots. So, these are really cool. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detail in that very very beautiful um, Renee doesn't only sell um, butterflies she sells other things in her store isn't that beautiful um, and there's like a little a little tiny flower there in these beautiful crystal things I don't know what that is but it's so pretty and so sparkly I just love them and then this one is so super cool. It's a, like a vintage Parisian. See the Eiffel Tower in there? Isn't that gorgeous? And again, this is another three-dimensional one. Very beautiful. And the colors on this are just really amazing. And then this one here is... Um, the one that I used on my project. Isn't it so beautiful? So pretty. I just love it. Okay, now here is Renee's card with all of her information, but I'll also uh, pop a link to her store in the description box below, but I wanted to share with you how gorgeous her card is. Isn't it so pretty? So yeah, you want to head over to Renee Bouquet's and um, check out all her lovely work. And let me share with you what I created. It looks like this is a little yellowish, although this is cream, but okay. Um, I created this box. It's a handmade box. And I used um, watercolor paper, so it's nice and sturdy. So on each of the sides here, I used a Spellbinder die and um, did it on, uh, adhered it to all four sides. And then I put these little um, halfback pearls in the middle of the floor de lis there. Isn't that pretty? And then on the top of it I just use this beautiful ruffle trim there it's like a pleated one isn't that pretty um, and then over here I have a cluster of beautiful flowers and these are all from wild orchid crafts and these are a gift were a gift from my husband for Christmas he got me all kinds of flowers in whites and um, so I can color them with my Lindy Stamp Gang um, sprays. 
So I'm su super excited to, to do that. But of course, I used all white for this one. And there's another die cut. And I have one up there. And I used stickles on all the flowers. And I used stickles on the... Um, the uh, flourish die cut and then you can see like the little um, things there that's perfect pearls and then going up I have this bling and then there she is isn't she gorgeous see how she looks on the card she's like taking flight out of the um, bouquet of flowers isn't that so pretty I just love her She's so pretty. So that is the top of my box. And um, as I said, I created it myself. I didn't do anything, you know, inside of it. I just left that plain. And then I made a matching card to go with it. And again, this is, um, here's the, the bottom of the box. Again, it's just plain. Um, I used the um, watercolor paper for this too. It's just more durable and it will break down. Um, it won't break down as, as um, much as it would, you know, thinner paper. So it's just a more uh, sturdier, heavier cardstock. So see my butterfly I used her there too isn't she beautiful so I made this a six by six um, I like large cards so I can fit more stuff <laughs> so I got this beautiful image off of Pinterest and it reads I am dreaming still of thee isn't she beautiful look at her gorgeous hair and the pretty flowers in there per uh, pretty peach flowers and then down here it looks like she has some kind of a I don't know if that's a dress or a shawl but that's in like this mint green and all these flowers around her I just love it and I printed this on fabric paper because I think that I don't know for whatever reason it looks more you know vintage so um, I added some halfback um, pearls and then just randomly, um, you know, did some dots of um, glitter, you know, just to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, give the, the picture a more interest. So, um, yeah, that's that. The paper, I can't tell you what I used. I think it's Peon. <laughs> but um, as you see, it's all covered up. And I have tons of layers on here. I mean, you can't see it now, but... Um, I have the, the card itself, and then I have two layers here, and then this um, paper doily, <laughs> and it's actually a heart. You can see it like going up that way, and then, and then that way. Um, before it was embellished, it, it was like you could see all the stuff on there. <laughs> so I have another layer of paper here. You can see it behind there. It's kind of a cream color. And then this green one, and then her her um, photo. So yeah, and then over here you can see a little bit of um, see the little punch. It's a Martha Stewart punch. I have two other pieces of paper there too that actually go all the way up and down. But of course, it's hidden. See, it's under there. So. Um, let's see, starting at the top here, I have a cluster of, um, flowers, and the white ones are from Wild Orchid Craft Flowers, and these peach ones here I had purchased when I was in Ireland a few years back, and then that peach one right there, I don't know who gave it to me, but it's absolutely stunning, and I have a, another one of those, they're like acrylic... I like acrylic. I'm not really sure what they are. But see how they have the little rhinestone in it? They're really pretty. And um, there's more of those peach flowers there. Um, so whoever gifted those to me, thank you so much. I love them. They're just so beautiful. 
and I may have even bought them myself. I don't know, but um, they're from my stash. So I also added the, this pearl spray, and I'm really running low on that in the white. I've been using that a lot lately. And then I used um, some of this, see this trim down here? I just stuck a piece here and then a piece over here. And then this is just a little piece of um, lace that I had extra in my stash. And then going over here, this is a resin piece by Melissa Francis. And it was more of a, like a vintage color. And I just went over it with um, gesso because it was just a little bit too vintage for this um, project. And then here is a Prima, and I did the same thing with that too. Back here I have a little piece of cheesecloth. And then here is a, um, a beautiful lace. It's like a sheer lace, and it has um, this little pearl trim going down the center. That's how it came. I'm not really sure where I got that either. And then I have these fun flowers here. Um, those are from AC Moore, from the wedding section of AC Moore. And then um, I made this Gatsby flower here. And I used two colors of peach. This is kind of a, a a pink like a peachy pink and this is more of a lighter peach and then I used um, some of these pearls here and then on top of that I have this eyelash trim and then this resin fray is from D shop elegant embellishments and that was a peach color but it didn't match so I just um, used my gesso and then added this a gorgeous, beautiful cameo. Isn't it gorgeous? I have no idea where I got that either, you guys. I'm really bad. <laughs> I should write it down. I'm starting to now. Um, and again, I used some of those, those acrylic type flowers here and another one of these. Um, flowers with the pearls sticking out and then down here I have this beautiful lace that I got in my stash and this was from um, Joann's too they have like a, a deals on wheels or wheels on deals or whatever and you get like two yards or a yard for 250 or whatever so that's where that's from and this rosette trim here is from Michaels, and I just added some flat back pearls to the center. And then going to our beautiful butterfly. Isn't it gorgeous? And she matches this perfectly. I mean, you you can't get a better match than this. I mean, she matches the, the image, like, perfectly with the black and the peach. Um, so I added some pearls. Um you know coming out here and then a little pearl flower so it looks like she's um, headed towards this flower cluster here <laughs> so I just thought that came out beautiful I love the color so so very much um, so <clears throat> those are my design team projects for Renee's store and again let me show you her card and I will pop the link below so you can check out all of her other goodies that she has for sale and again it's let's see if we can get that in focus yep Renee Boutiques on Etsy and she has some very lovely um, items for sale so thank you so much, Renee, for asking me to um, uh, guest design using these beautiful butterflies. I had so much fun, and I hope you like it. And um, thank you, everybody, for watching, and have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Take care now. Bye-bye.